morning students welcome back to science class of 7th in our previous video we were studying the chapter number 16 of science that is water a precious resource so in our previous video we had completed the chapter and today we will be discussing the exercises and question answer of the chapter okay so let's get started first of all you have to write the name of the chapter number of the chapter and date okay then about the chapter what is the chapter about isme hum kya padhenge in this chapter we will learn about the forms of water that we have studied there are three forms of water solid liquid and gas okay then the importance of water we know water is important for everyone whether plant animals or human beings so water is necessary for every one then scarcity of water we have also studied that there is a scarcity scarcity means shortage of water shortage of water is caused due to many reasons such as increasing population urbanization depletion of underground water level deforestation etc okay then underground as an important source of water and we have also studied that underground water the water which is found below the ground is also an important source of water for drinking irrigation and other purposes okay then in this chapter we will also study about the water management what do you mean by the water management water management means the use of water properly and judiciously without wasting it is called as water management okay so in this chapter we study different forms of water shortage of water importance of water underground water as an important source of water and the ways of water management okay now let's look the some key terms of the chapter the first one is depletion depletion means to empty or exhaust matlab khali ho jana ya khatm ho jana then second one aquifer water stored as ground water theek hai then third is water harvesting saving rain water and recharging ground water so water harvesting or we can say rain ha water harvesting is the method through which we can save rain water without wasting it and we can recharge ground water recharge ground water means what if the level of ground water is getting low then we can recharge we can refill it by the use of rain water harvesting rain water falling from clouds so water that fall from clouds is called as rain water table the level of water under the ground what is the level of water under the ground is called as water table in some places the water table is very high while in the some places the water table is very low then embankment what is in embankment embankment is raised stone structure ye thoda tha sa utha hua stone ka structure hota hai it is usually uh, formed or found near the dams okay then deforestation that means cutting down of trees or thinning of trees on a large scale is called as deforestation okay then ground water the water which seeps deep into the soil so the water that goes deep into the soil when the rain comes the water which goes deep into the soil to collect over the impervious rocks aur jo impervious rocks ke upar ja ke jo water collect hota hai to form aquifer that water is called as ground water okay so this was all about the key terms of the chapter now we will discuss very short answer type questions so let's get started very short answer type questions first one name the three forms of water in which it circulates in nature during the water cycle so the answer is the three forms of water are solid liquid and gas okay then second one name a solid form of water 
and gaseous form of water so the solid form of water is ice or snow and gaseous form of water is water vapor then third name the technique of watering plants which minimizes the wastage of water answer is drip irrigation then fourth one state whether the following statements are true or false a water table is constant at every place on the earth answer is false water table is not constant it is uneven okay then b water from the rivers is the only source for irrigation in the fields answer is false rain is also the source of irrigation in the fields then c rain is the ultimate source of water answer is true fourth d the fresh water stored on the ground is much more than that present in the rivers and lakes of the world answer is true then e the water bearing layer of the earth is called the water table answer is true then fifth one name the most important factor responsible for the uneven distribution of water in various parts of the earth answer is rain then sixth one name the ancient structures for water storage and water recharge in india which are being revived now so that is bawries b a w r i s then seventh what is the water bearing layer of the earth known as it is called as water table then eighth what is the main source of underground water answer is rain then ninth which natural process continuously converts some of the saline sea water into the fresh water saline means salty water so the answer is water cycle then 10th what is the minimum amount of water per person per day recommended by the united nations for drinking washing cooking and maintaining proper hygiene answer is 50 liters per day okay then 11th there are 10 tube wells in a lane of 50 houses what could be the long term impact on the water table in the area to agar ek hi area mein 10 tube wells hai aur to kya ho jayega the water table will be lowered very soon dheere dheere kya ho jayega water table bahut hi niche chala jayega kyunki bahut zyada underground water ek hi lane mein ek hi area mein 10 cube well hai. so the answer is the water table will be lowered very soon okay then 12th fill in the following blanks with the suitable words a three forms of water are solid liquid and gas then b about 79% of the earth surface is covered with water then third the process of water seepage into the ground is called answer is infiltration then d people obtain ground water through dash and dash answer is wells and tube wells then e the water bearing layer of the earth is called water table then f the water found below the water table is called ground water g a tube well draws underground water contained in an aquifer a q u i f e r then h bawri was the traditional way of collecting water then i if a person is living in an area having sufficient rainfall and yet there is shortage of water it is due to the dash of water resources answer is uneven distribution okay then j the rain water can be used to dash the ground water answer is recharge then k the best way to overcome shortage of water is rain water harvesting and l leaking taps is a source of huge water wastage now we will discuss the short answer type questions okay so children we have discussed the very short answer type questions okay the key terms of the chapter and about the chapter it is your activity chapter so this chapter i will not be explaining all the question answers so 
सम क्वेश्चन आंसर्स यू हैव टू डू बाय योर सेल्फ ओके सो शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू बाय योर सेल्फ एंड लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू बाय योर सेल्फ गो थ्रू द चैप्टर थरली रीड द टॉट टॉपिक्स एंड फ्रेम द आंसर्स तो चैप्टर को अच्छे से पढ़िए उसमें से आंसर्स फाइंड आउट करिए एंड ट्राई टू फ्रेम द आंसर्स एंड इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग जस्ट आस्क मी ओके देन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन दैट इज गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एटी सेवन एंड एटी एट दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू बाय योर सेल्फ इफ यू आर फीलिंग एनी डाउट आंसर की इज गिवन एट द बैक ऑफ द चैप्टर सो यू कैन रेफर इट ओके सो यू हैव टू डू इन द बुक देन हाई एंड ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू बाय योर सेल्फ अगर आपको कोई डाउट होता है नहीं समझ में आता है यू जस्ट आस्क टू मी एंड फॉर रेफरेंस यू कैन रेफर द आंसर की ओके सो आपको क्या करना है आपको दिस एम सी क्यू एंड वेरी शॉर्ट एंड हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन आपको बुक में करना है एंड सेंड इट एज योर होमवर्क ओके क्लियर सो वेरी शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन ये आपको बुक में करना है एज योर होमवर्क ओके एंड सेंड इट टू द नेक्स्ट डे देन शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन एंड लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चन यू ट्राई टू डू बाई योर सेल्फ एंड सेंड इट एज योर क्लास वर्क ओके I hope you all have understood the chapter very well and you will be able to write all the answers okay so start working and uh, because from next month our term is going to start so revise all the chapters now our course is completed now i will be revising taking the revision of the periodic chapters as well as the टर्म चैप्टर्स सो जिन बच्चों ने नोट्स नहीं बनाए हैं वो नोट्स बनाना स्टार्ट कर दीजिए बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट आई विल बी आस्किंग यू फॉर योर नोट्स ओके सो डू योर वर्क एंड हैव ए ग्रेट डे थैंक यू